Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Biden, student debt relief, and the tax man, and see if there's anything that we can kind of pull out of something that he's doing because he's making a move and it might be an indication of things to come. So if you don't remember, one of Biden's big things was he wanted to do student debt forgiveness. Got shot down at the Supreme Court. Once that happened, he regrouped. The administration regrouped and they started doing five billion here, four billion there. Pretty soon you're talking about real money. And I want to say now it's a uh, $140 billion spread over like almost 4 million people, somewhere in that range. One of the big questions about this was, is this something he's going to continue to do for the rest of this term? And would he continue to do it if he was reelected? One of the big talking points was that he was just doing this for votes. So... If that was the case, then you would expect it to stop after his reelection. Okay, so right now, under the American Rescue Plan of 2021, student loan forgiveness is tax free, and it will stay tax free through the end of 2025. Prior to this, if you had student debt forgiven, it could be taxed, normally taxed at the at your normal income tax rate. Okay. So it kind of offset things a little bit, you know, and it defeated the purpose. If you're having thirty thousand dollars forgiven in student loan debt, but then the IRS turns around and hits you with an eight thousand dollar tax bill, sure it helped, but it wasn't exactly the same. And that's on top of any state income tax that might be applied. Okay. So Biden is pushing to make it tax-free forever. Make that permanent. You have two choices. Either Biden is playing 4D chess and trying to trick voters or he intends on continuing this practice through his second term. Because the current way it's being done, it goes through the end of 2025. There's no reason to pick this fight. He's going to get a bunch of pushback, not just from the Republican Party, but probably from within his own party on this, making it tax-free. It's probably an indication that he intends on, at the bare minimum, continuing the $4 billion here, $5 billion here route. Um, and is trying to get the most effect out of that as he can by making sure that that 4 or $5 billion doesn't end up being taxed. Um, so it's an interesting move because realistically, it's a fight he doesn't have to have. It's a fight he doesn't have to have and he doesn't need to have now. The only reason I can think of is that he intends on continuing it if he's reelected. Or he's assuming that the average person who is waiting for student debt relief really pays attention to the tax laws and they're and this is going to somehow trick them i don't really think that's what he's banking on um we'll see how the republican party responds to it um, because you know this is a tax cut for you know people who who generally speaking are, are working people so we don't know if they'll actually support it and then you may have people on the Democratic side of the aisle point to degrees that make a whole bunch of money and say it's a tax cut for the rich, um, which it doesn't really add up with the way things are being done as far as who's getting their 
their uh, student loan forgiven. It's just an interesting thing to note. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.